My name is Marshall Donegan. I'm the Chief Operating Officer of the Alligator Head Foundation. The Alligator Head Foundation is a non-profit that's based in Jamaica and our primary mandate is managing what's called the East Portland Special Fisher Conservation Area. This is a marine protected area that has been closed for fishing since 2016. And while this is our primary mandate, we have recognized that closing the space has resulted in the displacement of the community persons who would normally fish in that space. So as a result, um, the AHF has had to be working on other initiatives to provide other income streams for those persons that have been impacted. Um, this varies from getting them involved in ecotourism to getting involved in agricultural production, but uh, not just production in terms of producing crops and then selling to a middleman. We're trying to, to build the capacity of these um, community groups. And so we've had them um, being, becoming involved in, in the establishment of small business enterprises, um, which include ecotourism activities such as scuba diving and non-motorized water sports, but also um, putting in planting coconuts and looking at what can be done with the byproducts of coconut, whether it's to become involved in the bottling of coconut water for sale or the development of cosmetics or um, pastries from the, the, the coconut product. Well, with the, su the support of the ITC and the Coconut Industry Board, what we've managed to do is to expand what we call our Climate Smart Agricultural Program. So we were working with farmers to get them to practice things such as crop diversification, reduce um, the amount of fertilizers and pesticides that they're using, and other initiatives that are ecologically friendly and designed to, to result in the agriculture having less of a negative impact on the environment. With the support of the ITC, what we've been able to do is we've been able to expand this program. We've been able to um, involve more participants with the resources that they have provided. Um, but more importantly, we've also been able to provide training in a number of, of critical areas, which include the small business initiatives that we mentioned. Uh, a lot of these business um, entrepreneurs struggle with some of the basic structural things that are required for them to to be able to have a successful business. And so with the ITC support, we've been able to help the farmers to overcome some of these obstacles. Yeah. For small businesses, I think one, uh, one thing that jumps out from COP is representation. There's very little representation of uh, the small business groups. There's very little representation of persons from the agricultural sector. Um, so the, that would be the, the, the key thing for me at COP. I think a lot of small business struggle with finance, access to finance, and the underlying issues that contribute to that, whether it be how to properly register their business, keep accounts, keep records, or how to simply market their product. A lot of them have great business ideas, great products, but aren't able to get into the markets that make it profitable for the business to be sustained.